Hey everyone, welcome to Pi Analytics, your go-to place for Power BI and data analytics tutorials. And I am back with yet another important Power BI tutorial. Today we are going to learn about time intelligence functions in Power BI. And this is a super important topic that you must know in order to build an expertise in Power BI. Now before jumping into the tutorial, let's talk about what time intelligence functions basically are. Now these are a part of DAX aka data analysis expressions and these enable you to manipulate data using time periods including days, months, quarters and years and then build and compare calculations over those periods. So let's jump right into the tutorial because the definition might be a little too technical and confusing for you to understand and in this tutorial I will be calculating a total of 9 measures namely current MTD, QTD, YTD, previous MTD, QTD, YTD and also MOM, QOQ and YOY which are nothing but same period last year MTD, QTD and YTD. Now obviously you don't know what all of those are just yet so I will go through each one of them one by one but let's go through the data set first of course and uh, in the table view I have already loaded this data set I will leave a link in the description box below for the data set and yeah, so the column that interests us the most in this tutorial is the date column. And we have dates for two years, namely 2020. And if you scroll down, you can also see 2021. And uh, the sales just represent the amount of sales that were transacted on that particular date. So this is data for 2020 and 2021 years and uh, different months and dates for from 2020 and 2021. Now in this tutorial I will first be calculating a measure called total sales which is nothing but the sum of the sales column in our data set and yeah. Now that total sales has been created I will create current MTD Now current MTD is basically total sales for the most recent month of the most recent year which in our case is December of 2021. Total sales that happened in December of 2021 is what current MTD will extract from the measure total sales that we just created. Now for this we need dates MTD and I will give the expression total Sorry, we need total MTD. I will give the expression total sales, comma, dates MTD. And here I will give the date column as the argument. I will close the parenthesis and press enter. I will drag this measure here for you to see. And we can see the total sales that occurred in the December month of 2021 were of 32K value and again similarly we will also create current QTD which is basically total sales in the most recent quarter which is October to December of 2021. So this is total QTD total sales comma dates QTD and the date column. This was 112k and then similarly we will also create current YTD which is total YTD of total sales comma dates YTD of the date column. Bring this here. And yes, so these are the total sales that occurred in the year 2021. So again, current MTD, QTD and YTD calculate total sales for the most recent month, year and quarter. And now I will calculate previous MTD, QTD and YTD. This is basically just 
for the previous month of the most recent months so that will be november and uh, the quarter will be the third quarter and the year will obviously be 2020 so the formula for this is a little bit different and a little more complicated so for previous mtd we need the calculate dax function for total sales comma we need the previous month function dates mtd and then you just give the date column and close the parenthesis press enter and this is 43k so sales in november of 2021 were 43000 dollars or rupees i'm not sure okay now i will create another measure this will be for previous QTD, so total sales for the third quarter of 2021, which is nothing but the calculate column, total sales, comma, previous, previous quarter for this case, day, QTD, and then just the date column. bring this here yes we have the previous qtd we can see that the previous month quarter did better than the current month and quarter so there are some insights there that data analysts might use now i will quickly calculate previous ytd which is total sales for the previous year that is 2020 so calculate total sales comma previous year dates ytd and date sorry for that and press enter and bring this here now i will also quickly calculate same period last here QTD, YTD and MTD what basically these can be used to create compare different measures with the current MTD, QTD and YTD. What I mean by that is so basically same period last year MTD will calculate total sales for the month of December but for the year 2020 because it's same period last year. Similarly last quarter of the year 2020. Now I will create the measure yes now i will name this mom which is month on month because we are comparing months across two years now for this i need the calculate function again but here instead of total sales the expression will be current mtd comma dates mtd and i will just give the date column as the argument and press enter yes now we have the mom which is also 32k which is very interesting or we made a mistake i will create okay i will recheck this yeah this seems okay no we made a mistake instead of dates mtd we need to type same period last year then we need the dates mtd function and then close the parenthesis of course press enter and yeah this has changed now sorry about that you need the same period last year formula for this similarly i will also create qoq equals to calculate current qtd comma same period last year and then dates qtd and then just give the date actually i don't think there's a need to use the date qtd function here 
we will try that for y o y to see if it shows an error because i don't think that's needed okay so we create y o y equals to calculate and these are total sales for the year of 2020 so it should be equal to previous by td current ytd comma same period last year and then just give the date yes this is equal to previous ytd and yes you don't need to use the dates qtd or mtd function there yes that's it so yeah we have created all nine measures for the time intelligence functions and i have explained all of them i hope i did that properly but if not and if you have any questions drop a comment below and i will be more than happy to answer it and this is the end of the time intelligence functions that you need to know while working with power bi and this is a very important topic so make sure you understand it thoroughly before going into any interview or before applying to any jobs with power bi and that's it all the best on your journey to become a data analyst and yes please stay tuned to our channel for more such content please like share and subscribe and i will be signing off thank you